G'day scrappers. <laughs> this is the old girl, the old van, and uh, it's still going to be my workhorse scrap van. Take scrap metal away and stuff like that. So, and here is my new van. Well, it's not brand new, it's, but it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. A bit more respectable to do business pickups and all that kind of thing. So, you know, it's uh, still uh, six years old or so, seven years old. So it's, uh, but it's been looked after. It's even got, uh, uh, this is like a spotlight. Um, when you've got high beams, it's for uh, to see kangaroos. <laughs> That's what the guy used them for. Um, okay, here's my key without a key. <laughs> there is a key, but I don't know. Got to get used to this modern technology and and stuff. So there, there it is. So a lot cleaner than uh, my my original van. Uh, even got nice dark tinted windows. I like that. And this is it. Merc. It's even got Bluetooth finally, so I can answer calls without having to stop and stuff like that. Um, it's got uh, yeah, it's a three seater. So that's handy. I just took off this headrest here so I can see better through the back window because, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is it, guys. Um, hopefully, I can keep it this clean <laughs> um, for uh, as long as possible um, until one day this becomes my scrap van. Um, my real workhorse but for now this is just for driving around and yeah doing business pickups where it's a little bit embarrassing with my van because it's you know I, I've only washed it twice in three years um, so I just got to clean up a few things in here uh, the spare wheel but it has got a cargo um, barrier so that's handy I, I'd like the the new style where they've got you know it's a sealed vapor barrier but this is good enough it's a it's a genuine cargo barrier so um at least things won't slide ahead that box there uh he was gonna take it out but i decided not to take it out for now uh because um what it is it's a vapor box for oxyacetylene when you're transporting uh by law you can't just have uh, oxy uh, gas bottles loose uh, so this is where you put the gas bottle and it's got like a vapor um, hole for uh, so in case the the gas leaks the vapor goes out um, so but it's kind of in the way um, these boxes are worth like 300 400 bucks or something apparently brand new um, So I'm debating on whether to take it out. The only thing is I've got to patch up the hole um, The vapor barrier hole that will be in the floor um, So other than that uh, Yeah, so he got it all roadworthy. It's uh, It's uh, yeah didn't really need much for the road wheel at all. He did put two new tires. He promised me. He said, "I'll I'll put two new tires on the front for you because they were a little bit down." And um, oh, and how's this? Uh, a lot of you might know that I collect IBM PCs. IBM. <laughs> oh gosh. And oh, and also the tow bar. So. It's really hard to buy a second-hand van because everyone, you know, gets their vans with different specifications. Oh, the wind's coming in. So it's either there's no tow bar or there's no cargo barrier. Um, usually, very rare, they've got tinted windows. That was a nice extra. And he, he only done this about six months ago. Um, and also, this door here has got a window. And it makes a big difference when you're backing out of places. You can't see anything, oncoming cars coming. So I really wanted a window. 
So the combination is really hard to get. Um, the, the thing that I'm missing is, this is just like uh, my old one, it's a short wheelbase or a medium wheelbase. I wanted the longer wheelbase, it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. As long as I've got my tow bar, I'm all set now, I can get a, a trailer when I need it. And the only other thing is this cage, uh, sorry, not cage, the uh, shelving system. Um, I don't really want it. As you can see, it takes up quite a bit of room. So um, I might, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely will take it out. Because uh, it's got, when you're driving, it, it's got a bit of a rattle. Um, so yeah, I don't really need it. That's my tow bar ball. Um, he's even left, he's a refrigeration mechanic. So he's left to be some nice copper pipe. Bit of a bonus. Uh, yeah, so that's probably the uh, what I will be doing this weekend is just clearing, taking out this shelving, and I'll probably just stack the shelving around the back, and just in case one day I might want to put it back, um, or uh, someone might actually want a shelving system for their van, and I can set them up with it. Uh, but apart from that, it's, uh, yeah, it's in really good shape uh, being six years old or seven years old. Uh, but it's all, it's all uh, pretty awesome. So that's it, guys. This is my new scrapper van. And uh, he's just kept it unbelievably clean in, inside here. And uh, yeah, this is how I'm going to try and keep it. <laughs> And the two seats here at the front also make a big difference. Again, it's not very common you find the three-seater. And so, you know, it's just handy when you want to carry two people, you know, just take them somewhere. So, yeah, that's all handy. Um, and, yeah, it's uh, really awesome. I just... All right. There we go. So the computer says that it's uh, it's due for a service in 2,000 kilometres. So it's amazing that you can just scroll through with this button here, and the computer tells you um, all kinds of things when when it's due for a service, uh, how much fuel, temperature, and all that. And yeah, I just love the Bluetooth. It doesn't have GPS. Uh, it's probably one model too too early with the uh, having GPS. I could always get one fitted if I want. I might do that uh, one day. Just uh, yeah, get rid of this whole thing and just put in a a new stereo system. But I'll just see how I go because I don't really need it that bad. I can just use my cell phone and and just stick it up there. As long as I can answer the phone calls, I'm happy. And that's it. As spare tire. Um, yeah, all right, guys. Well, awesome. So that's it. <laughs> Good. I, I feel a bit posh, you know. <laughs> uh, even the the paint is uh, shiny. My paint is flat down to. Uh, there's no shine left on it. But. Uh, I just got back from the scrapyard, so this is still good enough to uh, go and do street scrapping and go and do uh, dirty pickups where there's dirty stuff, or mostly I'm just going to use this to fill up my scrap metal as I go, so I don't have to have it in the driveway. When I start scrapping PCs and stuff, I'll just stack. When it gets reasonably full, I just drop it off at the scrapyard. I don't need to have a full load going to a scrapyard because it's just around the corner, so. Um, can just drop it off even if there's just 40 bucks worth of scrap just just to get rid of it uh, yeah and uh, pretty awesome Mercedes Benz all the way all right guys well just a little uh, catch-up video I'm going out the back I'm probably going to start a bit of a scrap marathon so look out for that video coming out real soon uh, yeah just getting stuff down heaps uh, let me just lock this up. 
it's even got an alarm system. So, as you can see here, this is my driveway now, and this is how it will mostly be. The only time I'll have stuff here is when I uh, just temporarily putting scrap metal down before it goes into the van but uh, yeah I don't want to have any more e-waste sort of sitting here I want this clear I will have a few more bins I do have boards and stuff but they uh, they're clean and they go out pretty quickly so um, yeah I'll probably have another four bins there uh, just my oddball stuff like cast aluminium extruded sheet aluminium um, Top LRE radiators and these are uh, slot cards things like that low-grade wire home bins yeah so there you go guys all right well just a quick catch up uh, keep scrapping have fun and I'll catch you really soon